Casey and Larchman in all likelihood. Doug Wren! Whoa! Doug Wren! Oh my goodness! Doug Wren from Seattle, Washington. It was a top 25 recruit. I'm Douglas Rennell, uh, former basketball player, current academic from Seattle, Washington. Two-time player of the year, three-time All-League, three-time All-State, Parade, McDonald's. I grew up in the Central District. The CD in the 80s and 90s was a community, but I'm gonna say we were ravaged by the 80s drug epidemic in the 90s, gang wars. It wasn't a bad upbringing. It wasn't a good upbringing. It was an upbringing. A lot of young men not really knowing what life is, but just trying to figure things out. My father, I didn't meet him until I was uh, five years old. Uh, he went to prison when I was born. We just didn't have a relationship. I didn't know him. He, he knew of me, but I didn't know him. So that was always missing from my life. So you're always trying to find that throughout life. I faced eviction through junior high school and high school. I think the last time I was evicted was in sophomore year high school at O'Day. Came back after a basketball game and the house is boarded up. <laughs> yeah, it was cold. And so that was a difficult situation, but you have to endure. Even when you're knocked down, you have to get up. No matter what, because nobody's going to be, nobody cares, you know. Like, you know, like nobody cares and everybody, but everybody will have an opinion and a judgment. So it's up to you. As impressive as that is, that is impressive. O'Day was very, uh, it wasn't, look, I grew up watching Saved by the Bill. So like, you know, in, in those things, you always see the so-called star athlete that were treated differently. It wasn't like that at O'Day. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it was, yeah, it wasn't like that at O'Day. Did I enjoy my time at O'Day? No, not at all. Do I respect and admire my time at O'Day? Yes, I do, without a doubt. Uh, would I do it again? That's a tough one. I always felt like the redheaded stepson, in a sense. I always felt like the guy that was, that was there to do something. Me knowing everything that I know now about law, structure, government, civics, jurisdictions. Would I play basketball? I'm not sure. You're a professional prostitute. You gotta go perform for people for them to actually give you something. And that's like, you know, that's the yin and yang, and I get that. But at some point, it's like, you know, man, are you gonna be a player forever? Or are you gonna be an owner? The schools are brands. Don't get it messed up. They're, uh, they're institutions that make money. We forget the commercial process starts and for sports when we're children. Basketball is colder than, than the dope game, period. That's just real. Sports in general is colder than any dope game. Why is that? Because the product is children. Simple. So you pushing children. So it's literally throwing away children's, children's dreams, children's aspirations. You're just throwing them away for your own. As a grown up, it's a sickening thing. When I played basketball, I understood that, you know, there is a, there's a monetary thing going on with me. Seeing that as a young man, but knowing that I was homeless, fighting just to get clothes. I have no food throughout the day because I have no money. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you guys don't even care. And it my heart. Yeah. Get back with my thoughts. I'm hard away with Chris on the college play. I only care about a nigga when he handed a rap. I was a child at the time, and so, but looks can be deceiving. So when people think that you're a man and because you're playing like a man, well, they try to, they tend to treat you like a man. You know what I mean? Not overstanding that you haven't developed those traits yet. Not having uh, holes filled. I had to fill those holes with my own knowledge, and and I didn't have knowledge because I didn't have experience. And so. 
it leads to mistakes being exposed for all to see because I'm living in a glass house. So everybody can see everything because it's right there for display. And they would always say, why is he so angry? The rage that I was feeling outside of basketball, I applied that in basketball. All the times the abuse came, all the times that I didn't have enough money to do this, all the times that people treated me secondary because of my family background. And so anytime I had a chance to say, fuck you, I'm gonna get this game. When I get this game, I'm coming for you. And so I had a list of people I come for. So I was never the hunted, I was always the hunter. I was always hunting people, checking them off my list. Chris Tucker, money talk, motherfucker. Chris Tucker, money talk, motherfucker. Chris Tucker, money talk, motherfucker. Hey, all you broke niggas, be quiet. I can't control this urge. The disappointment first came like from having a father that didn't want me, didn't like me. At that point, you're trying to find male figures who are going to be there. But then you keep on looking, not overstanding that the man that you need to find is right in the mirror. When my mom finally told me, stop looking for a father figure, start looking in the mirror, I wake up. I went on a quest for knowledge, so I had a bunch of questions. And so once you go and you go start researching, instead of being told things, now you're learning things. You know, that was my grand awakening. See, what my situation was, I knew that things weren't right. And so I had to stop that fakeness for myself. So I caught it, you know what I mean? So you gotta be tough enough and strong enough and actually in love with yourself enough to catch it yourself so I can be accountable to myself. When I was playing basketball, I didn't know who I am. I had to realize I play basketball. I'm not basketball. I'm bigger than that. And so that's the slave mentality though, to think that what I do is who I am. How did I better you? You watched me, it showed you comfort for a couple minutes, but did it change you? If I had the power to move you, that means I have the power to move you. As long and there's peace in that. Way down deep inside of me. Yeah. Get paid a pretty